it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2016 Mazda CX-5 in black. Black interior with seating for five, four doors and a hatch, and it has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive. You also have a reverse camera as well as extra carpeted mats and tonneau cover, many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive. Let's have a look inside in the door and you've got the Bose badging for your audio system. You've got power locks, windows and mirrors. The driver's seat is powered and then on the floor all weather mats. You've got a nice little cubby here, your lane keeping, your blind spot information system and your traction control and then on the face of the steering wheel you have your information for your dash, hands-free dialing, your volume, you have your distance to be set for your cruise control and on and off and then this is a push start so my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button and then on the dash any important messages, your odometer reading. In the center we have a CD player and it's just queuing up here so we have a dial down below that we can go to so for instance we can go into navigation and push on that and it's saying that it is not equipped with a navigation system so you want to check those kind of things because sometimes it's just an, a standard offering on the display but you don't actually have it so you want to make sure before you go in there and think oh I've got navigation no you don't not in this particular one so you have AM FM and you have your auto memory and different favorites you can put in there, HD menu, you can scan through and go through your previous. So lots of options there. And we can go back around and again, it's just pushing the button for the different option. There's your applications and you can go back in. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go through a few here and there's your settings. So we can touch on that and turn on and off your display and different things and set your um, display screen from auto day and night so we can just go through there and do different options now if we put the vehicle in reverse we're going to see our backup camera view here so yellow and red just telling us how close we are to other objects or vehicles when going in reverse so let's put us back into park and then we have our climate control you have dual climate control for driver and passenger and you're seeing the displays here digitally and front and rear defrost and your ac your fans located there and then you've got heated seats for driver and passenger and down your little cubby you've got usb outlets and your automatic shifter and then we have the options for the mode for sport it's on the left hand side there where it says p for park and so we can turn that on and off so in the sport mode like a lot of things with the the um different options that you have for you might have um, drive mode or trail or whatever this gives you more or less traction as you engage it and then you have your electronic parking brake and that's where I was going through and touching on the different buttons for your screen up there and your volume is located there for your um, sources and a couple cup holders your armrest on clips and you got a nice little bin there you can take that out lots of room down below there's a 12 volt down there too put that back in and then off the side is your glove compartment up top you have your garage door opener auto dimming rear view mirror your lighting controls and you have a power moonroof so we can just slide that right open and the screen is manually adjusted so you just slide it back if you don't want the light in there and there's a grab handle on the passenger side just making it easier to get 18 inch in. wheel body colored door handle driver's side fuel cap there's a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper in the rear and just below your Mazda badge is where your backup camera is located and then when you want to open up that lift gate just put your hand underneath and push the button lift right up easily and you've got this nice tonneau cover there's extra carpeted mats on the floor it's quite a large area and then underneath you've got your spare tire and there are also clips off to the side so when you pull these it'll bring the seats down for you and you just release them that way so if you had something back here that you needed to put the seats down to give you more room you don't have to go around and open the door and then when you want to close it up simply put your hand in the handle pull down and it's now securely closed you can lock it all up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows they're sitting for three in the back with a 60 40 split and so you just pull the button or push the button and it'll bring the seat right down you now have access to the back cargo area so you're seeing those extra carpeted mats with the cx5 
uh, embroidery on it. You also have a tonneau cover, so you can pull that across for privacy. And on the back of the seats are ankles, anchor, anchors to be able to tether baby seats. And then just give the seat a push back into the upright position. In the center, you've got an armrest with a couple of cup holders, all weather mats on the floor, slim pockets on the back of the front seat. And up top, you have a moonroof in the front, dome lighting, and hooks and handles off to the side. In the rear, privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors, halogen headlights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you, and we love to hear your comments.